two. Nice, Ron. I sneeze, though I'm not allowed to sneeze. Ew. Hello, it's Macaroon. Hey, it's Spam. Hello, it's Jello. And this is our Coffee Conversations podcast, episode five. Because wow. last week, a lot happened last Hello. week. Um, not intentionally, it just oh, how it happened. Oh, my fun fact still, it still works because it's food related. Period. Period. So, in today's episode, we've got a couple of special things going on. If you can hear in the back, if we're like quiet for a second, there's bubbling in the background <laughs> because we're making pesto on the pod today. And we are also trying this like fall flight that came from our local coffee shop that we Which, recorded at. If you don't know what flights are, they're like a <clears throat> samples or um, I guess different variations of certain things, but like. So we went, like, our coffee shop, like, our local one, um, they gave us four different kinds. If that makes sense, I feel like I'm making it so it's, complicated. It's, like, it's like the mixed, like, the mix uh, snack bags, like, the chips, mm-hmm. like, pretzels, sun chips, and that, but drinks. Yeah, it's basically four different drinks. Um, no, we don't, uh, well, they have names. I don't know what they are. So, I mean, it's just stirring the pasta so they don't stick. Um, but yeah, here we're going to do a taste test of them, um, because Savannah saw it on their Instagram, I I think, yeah. and that they had a fall flights, and, um, I'm just going to go over the flavors right now, so to my left is a maple chai latte, um, the next one is pumpkin marshmallow latte, the third one is butterbeer latte, and the last one is apple cider. Um, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is probably the pumpkin marshmallow. Yeah, that one sounds really good. Um, is there anyone that sounds interesting to you? The marshmallow seems nice. I feel like that's the only one I can probably like. <laughs> is it al dente? Or is it still kind of, is that a chew? Yeah, it's okay. chewy. Okay, so we're going to try them. So. Alright, let's, so the first one we're going to do, I think the first one we should do is the apple cider. Because we're ex- most excited for the marshmallow. Do you want to switch these around? Yeah. Okay. Um, who wants to go first? Cairo, you want to go first? Well, give me a second. Okay, Mara, you go first. <laughs> Tasting. Which one is that one? It's the apple cider. I love apples. I love apple cider. Is it good? Apple juice so and apple cider. I always had cold apple cider. Mm-hmm. And so, when people are like, oh, you should try hot apple cider, Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. And I think this is a good way to actually try it. I've only, actually, I've only had hot apple cider. I've never had cold. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's... I always had cold, I always had cold apple juice, not apple cider. Mm -hmm. Because they're two different ways. I can prefer the cold. I think it's more nostalgic for me, since that's what we always had. We never really had hot apple cider. But this would be really good in, like, a really, like... Um, For me, it's it a lot more watery. It is. It, it, but it, it does have like a beginning water like, taste to it. And um, water does have a taste. You can fight me on that. Yeah, it literally does. Go on. But this gives me vibes of when you would go to a like the, a pumpkin patch. Or like, oh, or like a drink. hayride. Yes. yes. Like yeah. you would, this is the hot staple drink, mm-hmm. I would that, say, compared uh, to the apple spice, which yeah. is so overrated I now. Hate a apple lot of people. Spice. Oh. I hate it so much. I don't think I've ever had that. Apple spice? Pumpkin spice? Oh, pumpkin, it was pumpkin, pumpkin spice. <laughs> Pum- oh, I hate well. pumpkin spice. Uh, um, it's not that good. It's so overrated it's now. It's overrated. I mean, when it first came out, I was like, ooh, that's interesting. And I drank it for, like, a, the whole <laughs> fall. And then after, and I'm just like, I don't really see much of it. I'll tell you what. I really like I chai and pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin chai is so good. But pumpkin in, like, regular coffee, like, from Dunkin', I tried the other day. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, the one that we went to all the way, like, 30 minutes from here was so ass. <laughs> I don't like so bad. pumpkin spice, though, because it has a very strong like, flavor mm-hmm. in it. Like, I just like Well, maybe that. we just don't like pumpkin, because we're not used to yeah. eating pumpkin in because our... The only things that we ate pumpkin with is the pumpkin cheesecake for Thanksgiving mm-hmm. and nothing else. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's do final ratings. What do you give that? Well, like, out of 10? Out of 10. Yeah, one out of 10. Or, like, one out of four, so it can be one of the fours. Oh, we can do that at the end. 
Okay. Like so, the drink order. itself, yeah. the rating, what you get. I would give it like a seven. Okay. It's like, you know, it's okay. your typical apple cider. Mm, okay. A uh, seven, maybe seven, maybe eight. Because I just really? I, I I like apple cider. Honestly, I give it like it's, a it's, six. It's not mm. special. It's no. literally just hot apple cider. You can get it probably in the store. It would be a five because five for me is like I would drink it if I had it. Sometimes mm. I'd be in the mood, maybe not. But like I give it a six because I like it. Excuse me, because I like it, <laughs> and. I think it's good, especially for, like, a coffee shop's rendition of it, but I would much yes. rather have it, like, cold. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, uh, the next one is the Butterbeer Latte, which I was... From Harry Potter. Which was my second, like, um... What's it called? Interesting one. Butterbeer. Latte. Oh, I do love Butterbeer, but I don't like it. Oh, we didn't taste. do a smell of them. We gotta do a smell. It, it, smells, just, it smells like apples. Yeah, it just smells like... I should probably I don't like, check on that. I don't like the smell of that one. I really don't. No, I don't either. Oh, this one just smells like coffee. Haro, you might not actually like this. I'm still going to drink it. Fun fact, I don't know if you know, but Haro doesn't like coffee. I don't like coffee solely because, A, it tastes and smells like burnt beans, and I, I'm not the biggest fan of burnt. Yeah, it just smells like coffee. You like it? I have a feeling you don't like it. It just tastes like a regular milk with coffee. Really? Yeah. Like, there's no... Yeah, there's no, it doesn't, nothing special. It literally just tastes like if you put, like, uh, a, a a coffee roast with, like, creamer and milk in, that's and all. sugar. Nothing nothing special. You want to know what this reminds me of, Mario? Yeah, bro. It just tastes like a regular like coffee. Like the... Uh, that's an L. <laughs> not, not CVS. What was that grocery store your mother always went to for... For things next to the arts that used to be an art store. Pack of Tams? Yes. Oh, then the, they had their coffee thing. No, no, the other side. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, that is literally just that. That is so disappointing. It's very disappointing. Well, it, they could have done so much with that. What was Couldn't it called they? Butterbeer latte? That did not taste anything like butter. If they had a butterscotch one, that probably wouldn't have been better than this butterbeer. Butterscotch? Yeah. Isn't that... What... Butterscotch is just... Savannah just dropped a noodle on my stove. The best way I can... <laughs> now it's on my floor! <laughs> <laughs> Our really floor! Hot. Really just leave it. I'm not leaving it on your floor! Okay, um... Their but... beer uh, is basically... If you had, a, like, a Heath bar... I love Heath. I don't care what you say. Heath's are good as fuck. What?! Sure they are. You don't like the toffee? What are you doing with that? Oh. Um. Will you stop? <laughs> I'm letting it cool off. Good? I should stop right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry, there was just a long pause of silence. <laughs> oh, you did turn it off. Um, okay, so... Okay, so... What do you um, read it, then? Honestly, like a three. Honestly, like, if it was... If it had... Honestly, probably close to a two. Wow. Yeah, it's not... It's not that exciting. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a solid three. It's, it's literally just a coffee roast with... Yeah. Sugar, but creamer and milk, and that's all. Uh, it doesn't even taste like anything with like toffee or or butterscotch. I agree. What are you doing? Saving some of the pasta water so we can put it in the pesto. Ooh. Have you never heard of that? No. Yeah, that's how you make the pasta. I mean, the sauce thick. Cause it has starch. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. I've never heard that. Okay. The next one is... Um, next one is maple chai. Ooh, I do love maple. I'm excited for this one. So I'm going to try it first. I'm not a big fan of maple syrup, though. Dis- wow. Disappointing? Mm. Okay. No, it's good. Let me just... No, it's okay. Cleanse the palate. <laughs> Mama, Mario, you gotta try that. 
Would I like it? I love it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like a maple like it, donut. That smells like maple. Smells so good. It smells like uh, it tastes like a like a maple donut. Don't you love it? It's way so much b- better. Yeah, <clears throat> than the previous one. Wow. That's all it ate. I would get that right now. <laughs> ten out of ten. It's so good. It's so good. I think it might be a little too sweet for my liking, mm. but Savannah really likes her drink Shirley Sweet. I do. I do. So. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that a lot. What do you think? I'll give it a solid 8. 8 close to a 9. I'm a 10, for sure. Yeah. Because I, I honestly, I'm kind of worried now. I drink I was, this one first. Yeah, I was excited. You, you guys have done the other ones first. So, the one that I wrote I have the pumpkin marshmallow latte. That one sounds really good, it too. It sounds good, but I'm, I'm going to be weary, because pumpkin and marshmallow and coffee, mm. I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything. So wait, uh, I said eight. You what? You said I said like a nine. You yeah. ten. Okay, marshmallow yeah. time. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything really. That's a thick <laughs> Oh, lots of faces being made across the table. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> wait <laughs> to describe it. Okay, it does smell like the butterbeer latte, so it just has okay. that coffee smell to it. For me, it just doesn't taste like anything. Uh, it doesn't smell like anything. Taste. Oh. Okay, I'm scared now, because there's lots <laughs> of faces being made around here, and I'm scared. Don't, don't describe me, it until me, the end. Let me see that girl. Don't describe it until the end. That is the most, it's the darkest color out of all of them. The marshmallow, no, the maple chai is the lightest. Uh, another I, face. I prefer this one over the butterbeer. Oh, 100%. For sure. But it's not, me personally, it's not as good as the maple chai. You know, you know what I'm that reminds me of? Burnt marshmallows. Yeah. I taste the pumpkin a little. I don't. I just taste like the burnt marshmallow. I can also taste like a graham cracker, kind of. Like a bready... It's like a s'more. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, for me, it tastes like like how you know you roast marshmallows, and sometimes it's just like... That char? Yeah, there's there's mm-hmm. some char, but not like dark black. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not as good as the maple chai. I'm going to be honest. I can taste the pumpkin in it, but I can also taste the burnt marshmallow. I, I so don't, that's good. I don't. I only taste the, bar- the burnt marshmallow. I don't taste the pumpkin at all. Okay, so what would you rate it? Um, what would I rate that? I'd say a solid five. I'll give it like a s- six. No, I'll give it a seven because I gave a six to the butterbeer. No, I give a five to the butterbeer. Mm-hmm. So I'll give this one a six. Okay, this is better so, than the butterbeer, but it's like a... Okay, so we're going to do a final taste test for everything and then rank them from best to least. So we first started with the apple cider. Mm-hmm. Yes. We should have probably marked these down so we like remember what positions we took them with. You see, drinking it again, it's not as interesting like as the other ones. I, I, I still like it. It's I like a, it. It's a, mm-hmm. it's more of a campy it's, feel. It's the yeah. it's the reliable. Iconic right. It's it's Drink reliable. For fall. Yeah. Right. Okay, <clears> now <throat> the most dreaded <laughs> butterbeer one. Oh boy. Just tastes like <laughs> coffee. I'm <clears throat> that one is last, in my opinion. Yeah. Smells like a coffee, tastes like coffee to me. Not interesting. Yeah, just burnt coffee for me. Okay, then the maple chai, which... <laughs> Mama. I'm excited to go back to this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, my god! It's so fucking good. And I'm such a chai lover, too, so that's like... I never liked chai. But this really I would good. drink. It's it very sweet. It warms up my tummy. <laughs> okay, and like then that. the pumpkin marshmallow one, which is... Which we just tried. <clears throat> Hmm. Having it again, it changed my yeah yeah. Mind it, it, on it, now. it just tastes like okay. Marshmallows. So there's my no, ranking, there's no saving it. <clears throat> me personally, I would put the maple chai first, mm-hmm. like top. Mm-hmm. 
Can I just the say apples, mine because mine is pretty easy? Well, the maple. Well, obviously, for all of us, no yeah. surprises. The butter beer is last. Sure. Butter beer, then the marshmallow, apple cider, and then maple. That's exactly what I was. Well, do. me personally, I think I could interchange between the apple cider and the marshmallow. One. I just say the mm. marshmallow so one I would because these... I can't taste the pumpkin. Yeah, it I don't just like it, that much. it just tastes like a burnt marshmallow. Yeah. But I think I like my things kind of milky, like with milk. Mm. So I think that's why I'm like leaning closer to the marshmallow than the apple cider. But I would kind of indifferent for the apple cider, I feel. Mm. I just like the old reliable. I feel like the apple cider is like the control. Mm. But the control? I honestly I would put the pumpkin marshmallow and the apple cider as a tie. But unanimously the apple ch- um the maple chai so good. So good, and then the butter beer is because the, so the maple the, the maple one for me tastes like a maple like donut. It's very, very good. Like, uh, chai itself from there is good, but I feel like that just elevates it mm-hmm. to make it more of, like, a fall-style drink that And chai doesn't really have, like, a strong flavor to be in with. And honestly, I feel like you could <clears throat> still put pumpkin in this. And uh, it'll and be, be a lot, better. It'll be like, a little bit more, like, more seasonal than just, than yeah. just maple. I definitely like it a lot. Um, yeah, that was fun. Does anybody want any of them? I definitely want to try. You can more than happy to get any. I just finished my own drink. <laughs> okay. And I, I don't want to drink too much liquids. Ugh, I'm excited. Marl, what are you doing in there? If anyone else, I'm uh, I'm going to like kidnap the, the apple cider. <laughs> I love That's apples. That's fine. Here, Marl can have the pumpkin marshmallow since he likes it so much. And the butterbeer can die. So, Vanna, what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit? Up to five fruits. Up to five. Um, I feel like apples are number one for me. I don't eat a lot of fruit, so it's like, I like apples. I only like strawberries when they're covered in chocolate. I love strawberries. You don't eat. You, you don't see a lot of things just strawberries. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like strawberries themselves are really boring unless you put like sugar or chocolate on them. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know. I'd say apples, bananas. Red apples first, hmm. because you're not you're not a big fan of like Granny Smiths or no. uh, or Golden Delicious I don't or really, any others. I feel like red apples are just a staple for me. Like I just aren't they the sweetest too? No, they're not. No, uh, Honey Crisp are. Okay, so there's going to be a change in the rest. There are so many types. I forgot to get a lemon, but we have a lot. You can run to the store. Hmm. No, we shouldn't. No. That's fine. We'll just deal what we have. But that's... We have all that we need. Uh, I'm going to see if... But no, there's there's so many different... What about you? Uh, apples, like... Uh, Honeycrisp are the most, like, generics. Uh, Gaia apples are the typical big red apples. Oh. Um, and so many others. You know, like... <clears throat> apple picking? I don't think I we me and Mar never done any like fruit picking before. No. I do want to try cherry picking. Uh-huh. It's, it's just, it's just it's the so season. It's so cute. It's like cute yeah. like little baskets and stuff. We've got to go like apple picking soon. Uh, top to five, five pears. I do love pears. You don't you, you don't eat a lot of pears. I don't no. eat a lot of pears. No. I, I do I do wish I would I I. I like, you know. Eight more. Eight more pears. For sure. Pears. <clears throat> bananas. Yeah, bananas are good. Bananas are good. Uh, I was so weird apples. eating bananas in school. Cause I know, right? People, like. Everyone's it, immature. People uh, will feel like they're looking at you, but they're really not. But you're just like. <laughs> uh, apples are my third. So I can, uh, because apples are good, but they're just generic. Really? I, they are, but I feel like just like... Because everything has an apple flavor, like candy or mm. or, or like smoothies, drinks, sodas. True, but I feel like just like the apple cider, for me, and it's like candy. a generic. There's so many candies. Yeah, I love candy, though. Uh, cherries are my second. I love I love good cherries. At, for, okay, so... Cherries I made, are good. <clears throat> I made pesto pasta before, maybe like two weeks ago, maybe? Yeah. Oh. And Switch bananas to grapes. I love grapes. Oh, grapes are so good. Oh Sorry. my gosh. Okay, Mr. Interrupter. Anywho's. <laughs> um, and hoodles. The pesto pasta requires pine nuts, and they're expensive, 
But um, I didn't toast them. But I'm like, well, it's because the recipe didn't ask to ro- toast them. But I want to see if it gives it a different flavor. So I'm toasting pine nuts right now for the pesto. Um, I didn't know there was pine nuts in the pesto last time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you allergic? No, I'm not. I don't, oh. I don't know what I'm allergic Because it requires to. pine nuts or walnuts. Did you do walnuts last time? No. Oh, you did pine nuts? Because... But my girlfriend is allergic to walnuts. Oh, okay. So I'm glad I went to the pine nuts instead of the walnuts. To uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I forgot. Think it's, I think it's sweet, too, because I think, like, we're making this pesto for a lot of people mm. that we love. Because I know, like, Maro and Hiro didn't really like it the first time. I never had it. You never had any? Hi, so Haro might... No, it's so good. I, I didn't like it. Oh, it's so my good. My mom <laughs> didn't like I, it. Oh, ma'am. Um, ma'am. But... Stacy, Savannah's mom seemed to really like it. Her My boyfriend, boyfriend liked it. Isaac, is uh, seemed to like it. Asia liked it. I liked oh, you it. Oh, get- Asia tried it. I think so. Oh. I don't know. Everybody that I showed it really liked it. So, um, Ben's girlfriend seemed to like it. Mm-hmm. So it's so pears or uh, grapes, apples, cherries. I love raspberries or blackberries. Yeah. I like them. I, just, I like tart. I like, I like the tart fruits. You're a very, f- like, fruit-loving person. Wait, and so I you, feel like I'm just not. You like me... You liked a lot of basil in it, right? I don't know. Because I used yeah. two of these last time. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. No. Wait, don't you have to cut that up, though? No. Oh. You just put it all in the food process, process it, and then... I use... So, that's so Do you want me to use just one? And we can... No, we have more pasta this time. Yeah. Mar, well, what about you? What's your favorite fruits? Up to five. I didn't really... If you want to wash that. Let me wash it. You have to. Um, I didn't... We we didn't really grow up eating much fruit. Solely because, like, every time we, we bought fruit, we would just leave it in the fridge and it will just go bad. Because we either forgot we had fruit or we didn't want to eat fruit that day. And so, I would probably say apples are up on there. Um, I really liked pomegranate. Pomegranates are good. They are. Um, peaches are really good. I love never, peaches. Peaches are really good, too. I have never had a pomegranate in my life. I'm not the biggest fan of pomegranate solely because, like, it just takes too long to get everything out. What do you have to get out of it? Because, it's, uh, so, have you ever seen pomegranate? It's like fruit. Yeah, it's, it's the red one with the little Like the circles. little thing on top. Yeah. Yeah, you open it and they're like little circles. You have to hit them several times for the little fruits inside to Did pop out. No, I was trying. <laughs> to to pop girl. out. Or to, like, remove the white, like, um, insides. So it could be easier to pop out. But they're not a lot of, like, flavor inside of them. They're literally just a st- big seed with little fruit on, on the on the sides of it. What how, what how nice it smells? It smells like waffles. But doesn't it smell nice, though? In the comment section, oh. uh, put your top five favorite fruits. Girl, I just draft, like, a portion of the pineapple. <laughs> we don't need that many. Okay, well, this is... Should I let them... I should probably let them, like, cool down, right? No, well, you don't have to. I mean, so, Anna, what's your favorite comfort food? I'm going to. My favorite comfort food. Talking, you, Just talking about food, today. No, I'll tell you what. I really, really love chicken noodle soup. Just, just the most common... Just, not, not calling you, like, a, a basic one. No, it's but fine. Like, I just love... Every, everyone just likes... If you're, you know, hey, not, you know vegetarian or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So, um, Haru and I really didn't grow up eating, like... No, we had our own style of chicken noodle soup. Of, uh, fideo. What is that? It, it's basically chicken noodle soup with, uh, but we just changed the noodles to fideo noodles. But it also didn't have chicken. We didn't have chicken in mm-hmm. it. Uh, once in a while we would have chicken, but typically it is just the broth and the noodles and the vegetables. And, fun fact, for the podcast people to see, um, Maro and Hiro's parents have a restaurant. So that's interesting. Yeah, she actually made a fideo con ambondigas the other day. What is that? Meatballs. Oh! Yeah. Meatball. Meatball. 
What am I supposed to be doing with this? Um, You're just peeling the skin off and just putting it in there. Ma, what's your favorite comfort food? Um, bro, those garlic is strong. <laughs> <laughs> um... Sorry, I'm just grabbing a lot of things. But, um... Did we put all of it in here? No, 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 it's just too close. That's oh, good. Okay. Um... It can be anything? Yeah, anything you want. Anything that you, like, typically eat. Um, or, um, like, the one food that you really like and you always get it. It's in, like, called... the Pacific Place or anything. Um, when we were younger, uh, our mother would make, um... Chilequiles. Ooh, chili are good. Which were so good. Um, it? It's basically like you put corn tortilla chips and you would toast that to make them like chips. And then you would add eggs, um, sausage sometimes if you wanted, or. Um, it's, a ham. Mostly, it's a it's a breakfast food. And you would put um, cheese sometimes too, or. Um, it, also ha- it was also cooked in a tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it was really fancy for, like, breakfast food. And, like, our mom would always make it in our grandma, too, when she would visit. Yeah, our, our grandma absolutely wine. loves yeah. chilaquiles. Yeah, so, I would say that's what I haven't had it in a long time. I think I, I, ha- I made some the other day, but I used uh, the green sauce, not the red sauce. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Is- but then I would always put a lot of cheese and hot sauce like Valentina, it would be so fucking good. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, then we gotta add the Parmesan cheese, which I got a different one this time, because this one is more, I guess, Italian. <laughs> oh. Um, which might give it a different flavor and texture, because this is more sh- finely shredded. Oh. So it might make it a little bit smoother. How much did it? Uh, spoon. Three-fourths of a can you try to get that open? I don't want to, like... That was very easy. What? I don't know. It's open down the middle. That's <laughs> fine. How much do you need? Three-fourths of a cup? Mm-hmm. I'll grab the spoon to make it easier. Uh, what's your favorite snack? Me? Yeah. Um, I would love Twizzlers right now. She do be snacking on some and fucking cheddar fries? Twizzlers. Oh, mm-hmm. cheddar, Andy Caff's cheddar fries. If you've never had them, get them. I the can, cheddar ones. I could run to, uh, to the next door. Oh my gosh. If you want to get me cheddar fries, Hiro, that's totally fine with me. Because I love them. I'll do it when we're like done with everything. Oh my gosh. They're so good. Literally the best ever. Mar almost spilled stuff everywhere. Mar, what's your favorite snack? I still gotta put the pie nuts in here too. Girl, what's your favorite snack, Mar? Right now, um, you know that the uh, the fries of uh, uh, Brian Seven actually has different flavors. What does? The, the fries. The cheddar fries? Yeah. Yeah, there's like ranch now. There's and- barbecue. There's uh, barbecue rings. Uh huh. Like they're supposed to be like onion ranch kind. Of. Yeah, I had them. They're actually pretty good, right? They are. Mm-hmm, they I are haven't right. tried any of them that aren't the cheddar fries, just because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but if he's in the then I'd like it. Hiro, what's your favorite snack? Um, I like the the the. Uh, uh, it's not a brand, but more of a style of the um, of the mix snacks like uh, like munchies. Oh, like Chex Mix. Chex Mix munchies. I like those. So because like, I'm I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of like oh having one flavor consistently. I like having like different flavors like uh, like like when I'm sitting down. Right. You're like oh for you know, like oh if I get like flaming hot fries right or like the uh, flaming hot uh, like, um um uh, Cheetos. Yeah. I always put that with something else. So it's not really? just like heat, 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 heat. Like what? Like uh, for example, like their um, like the munchies, right? Yeah. Has cheese or flaming hot, and the flaming hot has flaming hot Cheetos, uh, sun chips, uh, pretzels, and um, Doritos. 
Ooh. That sounds really good. And I, I like just having a mixed bag of, of snacks and just like one one sold because like for me, it just gets boring if you have the yeah. same flavor over and over and over again while you're like sitting down and watching a movie or, or something like that. That's true. I like that. What's your uh, what's your food hot take? Like any like controversial things or like something you like but a lot of people don't like? Um, I like ketchup on eggs. About that, <laughs> I like ketchup and mustard on eggs. I've never tried. That. I don't know. I just like the tanginess of the mustard with the eggs. Yeah, because I don't feel like eggs generally have that much of a flavor, mm. which is why like I add the ketchup to kind of give it something. Yeah. Um. So I, I, I'm with you with the with the ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. let me think. Never I, had ketchup with like potato, like like the like hash browns. No. Really? Yeah, I just like I don't I don't feel like that would for me would because I know it's like oh it's just a French fry, but like it's still different enough. You know You don't put ketchup on like mashed potatoes. That's true because that is disgusting, but I know people that do that. And so like yeah, it's just a potato, like yeah, but it's served differently. The type of potato. And it's the texture. I think I'm pretty sure I put ketchup on every type of potato other than mashed potatoes. Mm. Because I just I don't know. I don't think it is that it sounds that good. Yeah, I've never had it with uh, hash browns, tater tots. Tater tots and ketchup are fire, though. I will tell you that it's really, really good. I'll, 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 I'll let you have that one. I, I'm <laughs> never. I'm probably not gonna try it anytime soon. What is your favorite condiment? Because uh, mine's ketchup. I love tartar sauce. Nah. -uh. I love it with fish. Only with fish. Okay. But Arkansas. just just like generic, like uh, like you put on like wings or something like that, buffalo ranch. Ooh, you know what? I do love getting buffalo. Um, oh, it's not buffalo. It's barbecue. Barbecue wings from Applebee's and then mm. dipping it in the ranch. Mama, it is so good. Oh yeah, I was like, what's the Applebee's in like, <laughs> my brain? Never been there. <laughs> <laughs> Never been there. I'm too Mexican. Go to I, American listen, restaurant. I've been to Applebee's so many times. Applebee's stand. It's uncanny how many times I've been to Applebee's for real. What's your favorite thing to get from Applebee's? The barbecue wings oh, that's and fair. the ranch. I did try their salad last time, which was fine. It wasn't that great. I like. I'm kind of like a salad connoisseur. Like I really like trying salads from different places. Yeah. I will say the worst salad I've ever had is from Honeymoon. I don't think I've ever had their salad. I did not like it. The I only thing I had from Honeymoon is uh, their clam chowder. That was the only thing I got from there, and it's all right. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of like breakfast right. stores. I don't like breakfast that much. Like my favorite meal is definitely dinner. Yeah. No. Like I, I not. The I like lunch. Meal. Lunch because for dinner you just have. For me, yeah. every time you go to the okay, I have a small <laughs> ranch. Okay. Every time I go to like a store, right, with a, like a restaurant with a friend, yeah, I always accidentally, not on complete purpose, get a large meal. Lol. And I have to always get a to-go box because I can't yes. finish it. Like I just want a simple sandwich. Why do I need to get a sandwich, fries, a, a salad, and a <laughs> soup? <laughs> <laughs> I just the small rant. Every time I go to like a restaurant with friends, I'm the only one that need to get like a to go box. I am infuriated. I I feel like I'm not so like weirded out about to go boxes because I am that friend. <laughs> like I am because I don't eat that much. Yeah, I'm either. So my thing is, I do eat, but I eat slow. Yeah, I feel that. And my and my father. Our father hates every time I eat. Yeah. Because for example, in the restaurant, right? Like, oh, you need to go fast. Like, like, hey, why, why are you still eating? Like, I just eat slow. Yeah. I'm not like, oh, like, oh, why aren't you hungry? Like, I am hungry. I just eat slow. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm a slow eater too, but I feel like I've just, I've always kind of been that way. Like when I was growing up, like I would always be the type the, of person. The last one. Yes, the last one at the table. Mara. Like the last one on the table. Or, or either the the one that has to like uh, either 
So either I'm the weird, where most of the time I am the slow one, but there's some times where I was I'm the first one to finish. I'm just there waiting for everyone. I'm just like should should I like get more or <laughs> should I just like wait until everyone? And I, I feel so bad when everyone is like waiting for me. Yeah. Just like I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. Yeah, literally. I don't feel so bad because if like. Like if You're I'm, there hanging out with friends. Right. Like, I feel like it's fine because they're all going to be talking anyways. Yeah. But still. Um, uh, we can do Random Fact of the Day now. Oh. It's 35 minutes. Did, did, you, did you see the, the Random Fact? I did see the Random Fact. Well, what was your opinion on it? Or you want to do it well? Yeah, yeah. Just do it again. If you'd like to. Give me a second. You're all good. Searching for the fact. Okay. Fun fact. Uh, people always ask what come what came first, the color orange or the fruit? It's you know the generic question like the chicken or the egg, right. or the color or the fruit. It was actually the tree. Uh, as the fruit got more popular, people started calling uh, the fruit as an orange, mm. uh, um, uh, because it used to be just called the fruit of the orange tree. Okay. Uh, then over time, people would for other objects as similar colors to orange instead of how they would previously previously have called them yellow red or red yellow. Oh. This is also why a lot of uh, typically orange are. Uh, this is why people with orange hair or ginger hair are still considered redheads. Uh, the hair color came long before the whole thing with the orange tree ever happened. That's really interesting. For example, uh, robins, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a species of robin called red-crested robins. Mm -hmm. Their chests are orange. But it's red-crested oh. because, again, back in the day, they didn't have the orange color. Uh, that's actually really cool. You want to hear another fun, a fun fact about oranges? Uh, lemons. Are actually a mutated orange. I think I have heard that before, and that's really creepy. Yeah. And uh, so limes are a subset of lemons. They're just more wow. tart than sour. That's really cool. That takes me immediately when life gives you lemons just popped in my head. But life doesn't when, give you when, lemons. When life gives you limes. When uh, life gives you oranges. <laughs> when life gives you oranges, make orange juice. Make lemons, apparently. That is so crazy. Yeah, fruits are weird. It's kind of scary. Like how bananas, like the bananas we have today. Are they supposed to be green or something? No, they. the bananas we have today are not are not uh, bananas. Yeah. The reason why a lot of banana flavored things, like for example candy, mm -hmm. taste so different from the bananas we have. Mm -hmm. Yay. It looks a lot lighter than when I first made it for some reason. Mm -hmm. It's not as dark of a color, but but the the reason why we the banana like flavoring like candy and the like yeah tastes so much weirder than like bananas bananas is because the flavoring came first than the mutated bananas we have in the table. Hey, come here. Wow! Because the flavoring uh tastes exactly like the original bananas. Tasting the pesto right now, and Marl doesn't like it. Tastes like pesto to me. Pesto is a lot better than that. I think the parmesan cheese actually made it a little bigger. No, um, I'm so excited to eat this pesto, guys. You have no. I, yeah. What's another fun fact? You know that blue raspberries don't exist? Uh, originally it was just raspberry, but back in the day where um, food coloring was uh, the biggest thing ever, mm -hmm. a lot of people were afraid that the red coloring was poisonous. So they changed the red raspberry flavor for like uh, snow cones and the like. To blue, yeah. So that's why it's called blue raspberry, even though there's there's never been a 
blue raspberry before. That is fairly interesting. How do you know all these facts about everything? I, I'm just a nerd. <laughs> I'm a nerd who likes fun facts. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's why you are our fun fact guy. I'm not one person in the party that will just ramble on about fun facts, even though no one is here to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. I love your fun facts, Hiro. I love them very much. So, Maro right now is putting the pesto into the pasta. Did we drain the water in here? Did you? You might want to drain it, girl. <laughs> Don't just mix the pesto and leave it on the top. Leave it on the top and drain the water from the side. So, man, I have a question for you. Yes. Pineapple, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, why is it give green? That, give me that, because the pesto is supposed to be, give me that uh, wood board. Okay. So I don't burn the plastic on our table. It is done. Mm -hmm. I don't like the noise. Enjoy the ASMR. <laughs> it's so, it's so funny to me. Girl, you might need more. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> That's all I have. Girl, I do not think that that works. Just throwing it around. Here you go. This is a lot of pesto. Your mom better be fucking snacking on this shit. Mmm. <laughs> no. I am gonna be snacking on it, actually. This is Savannah, pineapples, right? Yes. I'm sorry. What type of... Not, uh, do you know uh, I think it's well how... I now. Do you know how they grow? How? Like, do you think they're growing from a tree or... Don't they grow from the ground, like pumpkins? No, yeah, they're, they're uh, bushes. They're spiky -uh. bushes. These things. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There's a. They're, they're, he, sh he showed me. They're a picture. also massive. Wow. He showed me a picture of a pineapple in the middle of a bush. Yeah. Just that, like sitting in the middle they're, they're, of a bush. Every bush only produces one. Uh, one pineapple. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Yeah, you want to hear fun? Uh, so talking about fruits, right? Yeah. You know, know. What's, uh, if you did not just put the chicken in a bag. That's our mother did. I didn't do shit. Ew! The chicken is literally in a bag. It's free balling in the bag. Her mother put it there. Yell at her. Please don't tell me it's just raw chicken. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the chicken is in a bag in a bag. <laughs> don't worry. You should have cooked all of it. Yeah. yeah. You should definitely cook all of um, it. Yeah. But you want to know, so about fruits, right? How we talked about. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us that one thing that's considered a... a a, a berry, but the typical berry isn't considered hmm. a berry? What? Eggplants are berries. I've never had an eggplant. Ever, ever. But strawberries aren't berries. Why? Because to consider it a berry, uh, the seeds need to be inside the fruit. Strawberries They're are outside. outside. Bananas are also uh, berries. That's cool. So, it's a bit weird, <laughs> isn't it? I think I need to transfer to a different bigger pot. <laughs> no, you should be fine. Very sure? Yeah. You should be fine. So, man, do you have any thoughts and points? I feel like I've just been rambling on for a solid minute. Um, about food? Mm. Not necessarily. All I have to say is that I'm very excited for this festival. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And Mara's cooking the chicken right now. What's your favorite uh, dessert? My favorite dessert. Freaking Mexican cheesecake. Mm. 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 I don't know if you guys can hear me. But <clears throat> the the bow tie cake thing from Olive Garden. 
That's your favorite? No, no, no. I was going to say that's not good. Oh. <laughs> like, Savannah and I went for her birthday before we went on a Florida trip. Um, we told our server that it's Savannah's birthday, and they gave, they asked us what free dessert we should want. And we're like, oh, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We got the bow tie one. It's not good. <laughs> um, I think I should transfer that to a different pan. I think you're fine. I think you just need to be able to flip it over. Well, because I got this. No. Are you sure? It's not going to be cooked thoroughly, though. Here, just put it in. I have a food hot take, Savannah. Okay. Spicy doesn't mean good. You said spicy doesn't mean good? Yeah. If it's like too over spicy, it's yeah. not worth it's not worth like eating and buying. What did you say? Like like the hot wings, right? Yeah. Or like any like hot things. If it's too spicy, for me it's just a waste of food. Like who's gonna eat it? That's true. And also, That's just true. like, I actually want flavor than just pain. I don't really like spicy stuff either. I don't know. I like spicy, but I don't like overly spicy. Like, I actually like tasting the food than just pain. <laughs> pain. Literally. I feel the same way. Except I don't... The only time that I ever really ate spicy stuff was when I ate, um... It's when I would for, force Savannah into eating spicy stuff. And, like, flaming Hot Cheetos I loved for, like, a really long time. And then I did that thing where I, like, threw up. <laughs> <laughs> and I threw them up, and then I've never eaten them since. Because, Via non flashbacks. Yes, it, like it's so bad. Like I just can't eat it anymore. I did that with uh, onion rings too. <laughs> or not onion rings. I'm sorry. Um, what are they called? They're like the chips. Funyuns. Funyuns. I did Funyuns that. are good. Oh, I did that with funyuns, and I hated them for such a long time. And then I tried them again, and I was like, I have another hot take. Mm -hmm. What's your panties on ruffles? Oh, I love waffles. Ruffles. Ruffles. Um, I don't mind them. I think ruffles. I really, are... I really like them when I'm in the mood for ruffles. Right. I don't really get them like every time I go to the. Floor. Yeah, and I think like ruffles are only really good with chip dip. Mm. Oh. I'm not the biggest fan of chip uh, of chip of chip dips. I love chip dip. so very much. Because I don't like the French onion dip. I don't really like that. That's my favorite. I don't like that. The only one that I can technically is cheese dip, but that's mostly just Mexican cheese dip, not just like nacho cheese. cheese right, dip, right. You know. yeah. I only like ruffles, the original ones, over Lay's potato chips, regular ones. Lay's sucks. They <laughs> do. They, they're so goddamn they're salty. Not good. <laughs> no, I love them. I love them. You but nasty I, bitch. <laughs> I grew up eating chips, though. In, in my old friend group, we made mm. a joke of like, Let's just get, like, one person eats the entire family size, like, uh, regular Lay's chips and just drink the entire, uh, 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 the entire Pacific Ocean. Just how, how thirsty and salty you'll be. <laughs> and, like, that's fact. That's funny. They're so goddamn salty. And our, and our, our grandpa, right, when he was still alive, yeah. uh, every time he would visit with her grandma, he would always get the original Lay's, cut cucumbers. Put lime and in, in, uh, tahin, and we'll just eat them like a snack. Wow. That actually sounds very interesting. But what's your favorite chip? Or flavor of chips? That's hard, because when I was younger, my favorite flavor was sour cream and onion. But now that I'm, like, I'm growing up, I feel like my taste buds have changed. So I'm, like, kind of... Going out of that phase, I I don't know. In middle school, you reminded me of barbecue lays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I kind of I forgot <laughs> that because I you only see the regular Ugh, lays so or good. the or the salt and vinegar ones. No, they're so good. Salt and vinegar lays are so fucking good. I, I like them. They're I don't. So I can't eat them good. too long because like the roof of my tongue was just like yeah, it starts hurting. Oh, I like that so much though. It's Mara like something that hurts you so much, but you just can't stop. Mara likes Rubber. pain. <laughs> yeah, that's why your relationships never worked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, but I seriously, like, I didn't like 
um, salt and vinegar. Wait, hold on. I didn't understand what you said. That kind of hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I just processed what I she said. I said that you like things that hurt. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And then every it brought me back to freshman year. That you've never had has been <laughs> sucky. Hey, that was not yours. That was mine. They're better when they're hot. <laughs> Carl's drinking my chai. My huh? maple chai. Okay, bitch. Who the one that paid for it? Because you have five dollars in your bank account. I actually checked, and I have six dollars. You know, I have. I have another hot take. Yeah. Filling hot Cheetos, I don't like them. I don't like them. I like the different flaming hot, like flaming hot with lime or extra flaming hot. I would choose Takis over flaming hot Cheetos any day. I don't like the regular, like, uh, for Takis, I just like the green ones, white, like the, the Fiesta ones. White people ruin Takis Fuego for me. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. I don't like the Nitro ones. I don't like the Fuego. Uh, I just like the regular Fajita ones. The green ones. I don't know if I've had the green ones. They're pretty good. I've only had the Gennaro, the, hello, the generic ones, and I've had the blue ones. The blue fire ones. Yeah, they're fine. I mean, the, 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 okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of avocados. Mm -hmm. Like, I do not, I don't like uh, guacamole. Yeah. But Takis have a guacamole flavor, and I can actually stand those. Really? Mm hmm. Huh. I'll have to try those one time. Uh, uh, what about the guacamole tacos? I actually like them. Those are the only I, avocado. The, that's the only ones I ate. Really? I, yeah. The I zombie eat. ones are literally just nitro, but with green flavoring. Interesting. I'll, I'll get you some the other time I'm at work because our restaurant, the, the, the restaurant uh, that uh, my parents work. Oh, yeah. Um, next to them is a Mexican store. I can. I can get, like, a bag or two for you if you like. Yeah, that would be really nice. We can do a food test during the podcast. That would be so fun. Podcast. We can bring some cheddar fries, and we can bring... Oh, my God, we snacks. should do, like, a, um... You know what we should Like, do? uh... What's that? I think Good Mythical Morning did a section like this. Like, having different, like, uh, flavors, and we ranked the flavors of, like... Ooh. Of Cheetos, or Chex Mix, or, like, Cheez-Its. You know what we should do? But that's that, too many things. You know that Instagram. But like small bags. We should be like the people small bags. putting things in the boxes, and then the automated voice message person says, "Skittle gummies, Skittle gummies, Skittle gummies." <laughs> oh, I love those videos, the packing videos. <laughs> yes, we should like order one of those because they seem like really good options, though. Oh my god, Mar, we should I, do. So fucking funny I, I don't, I don't know the the website, but there's like a um. There's a there's a company that sent out like a uh, Japanese food, Baksu I think it's called, okay. like the different like official like uh, Chinese, no ja uh, chi uh, Japanese like candy snacks and whatnot. And like, send it to your house. Gosh, that's so good. I would love to try Japanese snacks. Right. We have to do it. I'm more than willing to like uh, at least get a a Baksu I think is what they're called. They do like a uh, uh, candies like. Uh, Chips and like different things. They'll give you like a little, like a two brochures. One about them, and the other one is like um, talks about the snacks and what parts of the the regions they're from. Because it's not just like oh Tokyo. There's, know, there's Tokyo. Should... There's mm. there's um Kaido and the other regions or like the different um different districts of Japan. And you're like this is from this that. place, and like there's the the uh. uh Agreed against and like the, the little information about either the company or the store they that they sell at. It's very adorable. That is so cute, and we should do that. <laughs> Start for to rumble the the, the <laughs> table. But yeah, no, it's very cute. Speaking of, um, I know it's a little late in the episode to be mentioning it, but we were gonna do this episode with my camera, and we were gonna video it and like be able to have a visual for you guys for the fifth episode. Um. But that's probably going to be like a 10th episode thing because we can't get my camera to work and focus um, while the video is going. It worked for a couple minutes and then it just stopped working for some reason. So we're going to have to um, kind of figure that out and get it fixed for the next time we decide to do it. So. I'm not dead. <laughs> I just haven't been. I've been doing a lot. Um, are we going to mix the chicken in the pasta? Yeah. yeah. Or having it as a topic. 
Both. Mix it in. For sure. Is it done? Yes. I wanted a little, like, crispy something. <laughs> But you know, I I forget what it's called. I think it's Box Zoo that does the the shipping boxes for the, from <laughs> Japan. But I'm pretty sure there's other companies like that that do like different different countries. I think there's a Chinese one. Oh, 100 percent. We could go in for that too. Like we could all pitch in. Yeah, and they should. I don't think it should be a, too okay, much. Spoon, it's just, it's just oh, a small good. box of I think like up to like. Five snacks per per box. Oh, what do you want me to do? Just help it in there. Then we'll spell it over the edge. Um, what's your favorite non-American like snack or candy? Um. Okay. So there's five, some on the top. Five below had this little thing, and it was these little bears, and they were filled with chocolate. Oh, oh the the koala bears! Yes. I love koalas. Oh, they're so adorable. Koalas are so adorable. And they were very good. And so, I was... what's your favorite animal? I love koalas. They're so, they're so stupid looking. I love koalas. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I really really like Highland cows. I you do be. I don't think I've ever seen them. Oh my gosh! Don't you worry about it because I yeah. Look it up. Look it up, because they are the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, Highland? Highland, yep. Alright. Look at all these crispies. And they're so cute. Highland cattle. <gasps> oh, look, so cute? oh, the big ones with the fur! Yes! yes. Come here. I know, bro. <laughs> I love cows. All cows are so girls, adorable. All my For You pages on TikTok is those cows. I'm serious, <laughs> and I could not be more happy about it. Oh god, those cows would be like a a a um a stylist's worst nightmare. Oh, for sure. But I just um, love them. They are so cute and adorable and sweet. Fun fact: the mess of cows are the best thing. Let me see. What is that? Asia was gonna what? join us the, today, which what is cows? the like the mess of cows, like, oh, like yeah. the the farming cows. Um, so adorable. Asia, a friend of Savannah's, was gonna join us today, but she had college classes. Yeah. Um. Bye. So shout out to Asia because we miss you very much. I don't know who you are. About a month ago, um, Savannah and Asia kidnapped me to go watch, uh, go to the zoo like an hour away. Yes. It was like a car drive by zoo. Yep. And didn't we see Highland cows yes, there? Yes, we did. Yeah. Mar, what was that place we went in like fifth grade? The Wilds. Yes, the Wilds. I want to go back there. The Wilds. I feel like I've heard of that. You we went there, there as a field trip and well, like. Yeah. Fifth oh my grade. God, Savannah. Uh, Mar, this is a. We saw, I know we saw like camels, giraffes. There was a giraffe that literally picked into the, in the, one, the, to the that bus the that in? I was in. Mm. Wow, what's your favorite it's animal? It's head. Um. I love hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are my favorite birds. They're but very pretty. But, but koalas are my favorite like. Mammal. Mammal, mammal. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite fish. Oh, I love jellyfish. Je jellyfish are the Not so technically fish, but... Manta rays. Manta rays are cool. I have a bowl. Because I want to eat this up right now. I'm, I'm not the biggest... Oh, oh I'm going to tell you something that that, uh, that dolphins do to, to jellyfish. <sighs> okay. I'm scared, but I'm ready. I'm going to tell you this after it because it's kind of um, not safe. Oh, it's it's something very dark that the that okay, the well, dolphins gonna, do. Okay, I, it, okay, okay, that was really loud. Rude. Otter plus and squids are pretty. Neat. They're very smart squids animals. Squids are very neat. They're very pretty. They're very. They're. <gasps> have you seen the? Oh, I do have a favorite fish. Have you ever seen a angelfish? I think so. Aren't they the ones with like the little pretty fins or whatever? Not angelfish, uh, what are they called? Okay. That's good. That's for you? Yeah, I just want a little bit. Oh. They're called sea angels. What would you like? These little guys. Those are so cute. So 
Sorry, I'm really trying to get this pesto pasta off here. Okay, it's just wrapping around. Tyra, would you like some? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, you're definitely going to have to take some to your mom. But, you know, um, I'm um, taking all of it, if you would let me. Uh, sea angels are my favorite. They're very small, very adorable. They are so cute. They're very shiny, like very colorful, too. One more? I don't know. I'm going to get uh, forks. Yes, please. Well, we hit an hour. Yeah. And the pasta is done. But I like hummingbirds, koalas, and uh, sea angels. Yeah, those are very cute. I love koalas because they're, they just, they're so stupid. I love them. It is definitely thicker this time. Yeah, I can definitely taste the uh, the the. The parmesan. I was about to say the uh, pesto, not pesto. Um, the uh, basil. Basil. Mm -hmm. It's not as strong of a basil flavor to it this time. It's good. It's so good. Because think about it, this time, you used um, the same amount of sauce that you used For a smaller amount, so that's time. probably why it was so strong. Right. And less salty. Mm-hmm, because the chicken is controlled with <laughs> seasoning. Mm-mm. Mar, do you have any topic? Oh, um... I don't know. All I can think about is this burning sensation over my lip, and I don't remember touching anything spicy. You have a burning sensation on your lip? Mm-hmm. So you're having an allergic reaction. I don't think so. I think the toastiness of the... Well, not... The not, pine nuts made it kind of mellow, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't... Like, before, you could taste the pine nuts, and they were really prominent. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. So good. You know it's good food when everybody is silent. <laughs> I'm quite I wish Asia could I'm join us though. She would have people eating and, and talking at the same time. Like Asia has so much to say when she we get her rolling. I know. I love Asia so much. Uh, love you, girly queen. Oh my god, you want to know what we should do one day? Do like a uh, personal uh, Jeopardy. Like each person has a board. And <clears throat> ask questions about ourselves. Or just uh, things that we're interested in. Oh. I like that idea. But I feel like we need all more than three people. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how this episode is really going to be. I think it's, like, really just chill. Like, it's just... Not very, like, hard topics. No. Um, very chill. Very vibey. Oh, something I'm talking about, like, your favorite, um, like, um, uh, uh, custard, not custard, um, condiment? Mm hmm What's your least favorite? Hmm. Probably relish. I mm. don't like relish. <clears throat> I like pickles. Mm. I didn't say pickles. I said Relish. relish. They're two different things. I think relish is too sweet. Hmm. Like the bread and butter pickles, Ew. I don't like them. Gross. Mm hmm. Not much. Mm hmm. I'm not sure it's all right. Honey mustard is smacking. I don't know what you, kind of honey mustard you've been eating. 
McDonald's. <laughs> oh, well, there's your answer. And that's your fault. It is. So, man, what's your favorite cheese? All of them. God, I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese Sorry, slide. mom, it won't happen again. <laughs> You're just a cheese slut. I am, yeah. That's so funny. Because I don't like blue cheese. Mm. Yeah. It's just, what, moldy cheese? Mm hmm yeah. Disgusting. But that's like people wanting, like, aged wine. Mm hmm It's like, literally, it's just old. Did you tell Isaac? Mm hmm What did he say? Wait, did I tell him what? So we made pesto pasta. Oh, I was told him that a long time ago. What did he say? He was just like, oh, okay. Mm hmm Ugh. What's your least favorite, like, popular food? My least favorite. Like, like a food that like everyone loves, but you're just like I'm alright. Chipotle. Like, facts. Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. Fucking Taco Bell and Chipotle are on my hit list. I swear. Okay, don't talk about Taco Bell. Like that. I will. I will rant. <laughs> I love Taco Bell, Chipotle. I just don't like it. I think it's overpriced. I think it's overrated. <laughs> But you got that free entree card. My boyfriend used to work at Chipotle. <laughs> so I was conditioned into liking it. <laughs> you were. But now he doesn't anymore. And I'm probably never going to get it again. I don't like Chipotle. I don't like Taco Bell. Chipotle is just not that good to me. Um, I would probably say Panera. Hmm. Like it's also Panera is overpriced it for is. what they give you. I had like a, a small bowl of soup and like a grilled cheese sandwich. And like twenty dollars. No, literally. It's like so fucking crazy. you can literally do this at home. Mm. I mean, you can also just say that in any restaurant. Like I can do this at home. Right. <laughs> McDonald's. I feel like McDonald's is overrated. It's just an okay. Of course it is. Burger place. Except for your big chicken, though. And the fu and the in the cinnamon rolls, I. Ugh. Oh, those are so good. Whatever got... happened to that dessert menu? They, we got rid of it. They Why? Nobody gets it. Everyone, I oh, I loved it so much. Haro was really haphazard about the cinnamon roll when I told him because like, Haro, it's, it's McDonald's. <clears throat> At McDonald's. I told him, I'm like, Haro, let's go get cinnamon rolls at McDonald's. And he gave me the most sketchiest, fucking dirtiest look. And I'm like, come on. And so we went, we got it. They tried it. And he's like, I want more. No, he finished it literally in two seconds and says, Excuse me. <laughs> he said, I want more. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. It was. It was so good. It was the only thing I liked from McDonald's. Yeah, it was so good. So, so good. <clears throat> what do you want me to... How do you want me... What are you keeping of this? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, how much of that are you keeping? Some of it? None of it? You can keep it. <laughs> do you have a container? Um, not really. That is that big? You want me to just take your pot? Because <laughs> I will. No. <laughs> Our, our, our mother will find it and will destroy us. I will take the pot, I'm just saying. I don't know how else I'm supposed to get it home. In, in the bag. Carry, no, yeah, put it in a bag. <laughs> you have a bag that big. <laughs> free ball it. Trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> just free ball it. No, just carry the pasta in your hands. <laughs> no, while you drive, just... <laughs> no. Oh, that was very yummy. My tummy hurts now. I think I might go home and go to bed. Can I move? No, because your mom left you a list of things to do. Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. She did. I'm going to take a fucking nap. <gasps> Got a 12-hour shift tomorrow. Oh, boy. 
my first 12 hour shift because I've worked 10 hours before. But. You're gonna hate it. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's what's McDonald's. Your, what's your favorite fast food place? Don't say Taco Bell or you'll I'll kick you out. No, I'm saying you have to cut that out. What? I said I have a 12 hour shift tomorrow. You said, yeah, it's McDonald's. Mar there's several McDonald's everywhere. True, but there's also like several Acme's and stuff too. I thought we weren't saying where he worked. I said where I worked on our second episode ever. I never cut it out. Brother. Okay. Um, oh, this is going to be taken out now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, anyways. um, It's definitely Taco Bell. Get out. No. Taco Bell is my favorite ever. I also really like Mr. Hero, which is apparently a, like a not a famous opinion. But I love Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is all right. I like the funnel, like the funnel front. So, Maro just <laughs> spilled the coffee all over the mic. So, let's go. Oh my gosh. Maro. I'm literally gonna fucking cry. Maro. <laughs> I... I think it's fine. We're still going, aren't we? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Maro. Stop, you're making me feel even more worse than I already feel. Why? Because Haru keeps making fun of me. I wasn't making fun of you, he's just saying your name. Can you put this on the other side, please? Yeah. That's it. I'm committing arson. It's <laughs> not again. <laughs> not the money, not the one dollar bill. Um... Yep, this is what I get. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get from making all right pasta? Sweater. Anyway, y'all, that's the podcast <laughs> for today. That's one way to end it. Um, we're gonna go and clean up the mic. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by to episode five. We hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. <laughs>